Hey, welcome. So today, actually, I am going to be putting away a lot of my Stray Kids um, photo cards that I've gotten. Honestly, over like the past like month, month and a half, um, my little box is kind of full. So I have both of my um, binders here. I'm gonna start with this one because I have them broken up by era, kind of. So this one actually isn't as full as this one. So I'm gonna move this one over here. And I have the cards kind of organized already by era, essentially. Um, hopefully you can see the whole binder in here. So this is my first one. This one goes from uh, mixed, also this is not even straight kits right here. So just ignore that. Um, from mixtape to Levanter, or stay in, stay in playground, I think. So <clears throat> I'm gonna start here and I'm gonna have to add some, some other like sleeves and stuff. So I'm just gonna, <clears throat> excuse me, rough start, sorry. Um, just kind of talk a little bit as I go. And this is also kind of gonna be like me just flipping through and while I add stuff and just kind of talking about my collection a little bit. So I'm gonna start, so this is all of it. And honestly, I'm just gonna grab what actually is gonna be going in here. This is all in the other binder. Okay. So this is everything that's gonna go in this binder. A lot of, I think mostly like Miro stuff. So, um, so starting with mixtape, I do have Assuming men to go here. Um, mixtape is, mixtape's not so hard to find, I think, for me, but sometimes they can be priced kind of high um, for no reason. So I don't usually buy them a lot unless they're like normal photo card priced. So I only have two more that I need, um, and then I'll be done with this one. For this one, I'm adding Changbin. And like I said in my, in my last collection video, like I don't really typically mark what goes where um, in the blank spaces, mainly because I do already know. Just because I put them all in the same order. They're in age order, which is the order that they are in like anytime you get March or anything. So that's the order that they always put them in. That's the order they're in in my binder. Um, my girlfriend actually does her binder um, by bias order. So they're not in order by age, they're in order like she's ranked them, but like, you know, her bias is first and then like her bias record is second and then so on and so forth. So now getting into I'm not the baby pictures. So some of these are first press and some are not. I honestly, I think, I think the rounded ones are first press. I'm not sure, don't quote me on that. I'm gonna look it up, um, but I, for me, like you see, I have like these two rounded ones and then all the rest of them are like square corners. I don't really care either way what they are. I just think they're cute. I think my favorite um, baby photo is actually Felix because he looks so adorable. I just, something about like little, ki like little kids in suits. It's so cute. All right, so these are the other I'm Not. And then I'm Not has like some, um, units so those are my unit cards and then all the pre-order postcards I actually decided when I first got them they came like complete in the set also some of them are, are blank because um they're missing I don't know what I did with them I put them when I first got them I wasn't a collector I just wanted to have them and I took some out and put them in like little frames somewhere and then some kind of way they disappeared I don't know what happened to them um, so that's an ongoing mystery in my life. I have not been able to locate them <laughs> since then. But um, I ended up taking them out of the, um, like they were all kind of in a little booklet. I took them out of the little booklet and put them in my binder because I wanted to be able to look at them whenever I wanted to. So that's what I do. Because before when they were in the little book, um, oh, right, I am who now? I never looked at them, they were just in plastic all the time. So this way I get to enjoy them, look at them. Yay! 
Look at them, they're all together. So this is all the individual cards, or the, the regular name cards, the ones that are easier to find. And then you have your border cards. So I have a, a few border cards to add, not a ton. Um, these are uh, crazy high priced normally. So I think I do have, I have the white border Mino coming, I think. Yes, I think soon in a trade. So that should be on the way. And then um, the other ones, I guess we'll just see. The white border Hyunjin, though, that's going to be the hardest one to get because if you find a white border Hyunjin, that card is going to be so expensive. It's like one of the hardest, like in my opinion, regular album photo cards to find. And one of the most expensive for straight kids, like regular album, Korean album photo cards. Okay, so black border. Oh, whoops, I already have that one. Okay, well, I guess I gotta trade that. See, this comes from, this comes from being unorganized. So don't be like me. Make sure you keep track of your wish list and everything. Otherwise, this happens kind of often. Okay, but this one is going in here. So this is also, you know, just in general, like a good example of what not to do when you're collecting and what not to do is to buy duplicates of things. Okay, so yellow border is on the next page. And as I said, I don't have a lot of um, I Am Who border cards, unfortunately. But I'm working on it slowly. And one of the things I do like about these is that I made sure that I am, if I am buying them outright, that I'm not paying like, you know, $20, 20 plus dollars for one of these. Um, and I actually did end up buying a couple of I Am Who albums and trading. And I pulled these two um, and then traded the rest. So that's also, that was also a good option for me too. That was fun. All right, so these also super easy to find, but they're really cute. I love them. Then we have I Am Who postcards and the stickers. Also, um, you probably have already noticed this. You will see um, Woojin in here, <clears throat> mainly because I did keep his unit stuff. So, like, I don't have his individual stuff anymore, but stuff like his postcards and, like, I am not, like, unit cards and stuff. Um, the ones I already have, I just kept them. And the ones that I... But I'm not collecting them anymore. I'm not getting any more, but I'm also not getting, getting rid of them. Um, but that's just my own personal choice. Okay, so I Am You. I Am You is the album for me that I think I need to work on the most. Um, and here are unit cards. And then the pre-order. It's really sad though too, because these ones are kind of like harder to find, I think, and they're like kind of expensive. And I have more of these than any of the other IM IMU photo cards. Oh, ah, oh my God. There we go. So I just need um, three more. I've kind of imagined I'll never ever get Hyunjin, but that's fine. Um, this is, these are also ones that I try not to like spend too, too much money on because they'll go for like 50, $60 even sometimes. And I'm just like, I can't do that. I can't do that. I just think about like how many albums I can buy, you know, help the boys sales out or like, you know, how many regular photo cards I could buy for that amount instead of just like this one. So that's, I don't know, it's just me. So here are the little um, Polaroids. And also you'll notice too that like in my binders, I actually went and put these like black, the black paper behind everything that had extra space um just because I didn't like the way it looked when it was just like in here and you could see what was behind I just didn't like that so so here are the IMU postcards I do have like a whole extra set I think of most of these these one yo these postcards right here though are beautiful every member i don't know the lighting or whatever like oh so gorgeous beautiful like look at them look at that shadowing look at them they look so handsome they look beautiful 
all of them. This one I actually think I had two of and I had this in a frame because I just love it. Sometimes I have like these little frame photos around of just like random idols and I'll like switch them out every once in a while um, around my apartment. Okay, so now we're in Miro. Let's see if I got any duplicates here. Okay, I have quite a few Miro. I do have duplicates in my hand. Oh my goodness. So looking at the purple border, look, I got that. But then look, do you see that? Literally just got both of these then. What is wrong with me? Oh, embarrassing. Okay, well, he's gonna go over here and I guess um, I'm gonna keep this one. That one I'll just try to trade for something. Okay, pretty. I love these. All right, so then the Stray Kids logo. I think I'll have one to add. He goes there. Coming along. Okay, Miro. Yay, a completed page, woohoo! It's always so satisfying to see a completed page. Okay, red border. <gasps> yay, another completed page, Minsung, yay. They complete my page, wait a minute. No, they're not completed. This is a lie, I've been tricked. It's because I have these here. Okay, wait a minute, time out for a second. So he's gonna go here. I don't have enough of these to justify putting them on their own page. In my opinion, these are the only two I have. I was lucky enough to actually, before I knew anything about collecting and Miro was actually my very first, um, my very first K-pop album. So let alone Stray Kids album. Um, I'm just gonna do it like this. And, <clears throat> And I had no idea. And I actually bought the limited version of Miro and, because it, it, you know, it just come out. And um, I pulled Hyunjin. And at this point, I didn't even know all their names, but I pulled him. And I was like, oh, cute. You know, oh, that's cool. <laughs> I didn't think anything of it. Um, I don't remember what other photo cards I pulled, but I do know that I pulled this one because for a long time, this was the only one I had. And then I got Jongin to go with it. But, yep. Then the, oh wait, I had another Street Kids logo one. How did I miss this? Did I already have this one? Oh. There we go. Okay, cool. Miro's coming along pretty nicely, actually. Okay, yeah. I'm, I'm kind of close with, with this one, minus the, um, the, the limited version. And did I call the IMU ones pre-order or limited? They're limited, not pre-order. Okay. So then we get into the um, Miro stickers. Is that a, oh my God, what is that in there? Oh, okay. So Miro stickers. Um, I don't have all of them yet. I think I need just three more. Yeah. And then this is um, kind of random. But I have to get through Racha because uh, Changbin's in it. And then that's the little like, I don't know, the clear Miro thing. I don't know what that's even called actually. Okay, I gotta get faster because I'm not even halfway, I'm, well, I'm like halfway done with the first one. All right, so now we're on Yellowwood. Yellowwood, Yellowwood, Black Border. We got Changbin. He's going in. Um, this one, <laughs> Wait. which was sometimes I have to make sure the, okay, I have to compare the backs to make sure I got the right one, rather than putting it on the right page with the right type. Okay, so that one. Uh, 
this one. That's another completed page. Woohoo! There we go. Wow, these are good. These are good photos. Um, yellow border. Okay, so that's it for um, yellow wood for today. Yellowwood has a little ways to go, but it's getting there. And then all the unit ones. Yeah, it's, I mean, you know, it's getting there. Slowly, it's a slow, it's a slow journey. Oh yeah, and then um, these are the pre-order postcard thingies, prints, whatever. And then the message cards. I want to get all eight of these because they are regular album inclusions, um, but I don't have that many. This is the one I pulled in mine, because also at this point I did not collect, so I got the limited one that I pulled uh, him and him. So, and I don't remember which regular photo cards I got. The stickers. Okay, so now we're getting to Levanter. I actually don't have anything to add here, so I'm just going to flip through. I mean... Yeah, Levanter, because Levanter is a completed set. This actually is a really important page to me because this is actually what started my whole collecting like journey. Um, I got Levanter, I was really excited. It was my first time buying like more than one copy of the album. And <clears throat> I saw these lenticular cards and I just thought they were so pretty. And actually I pulled Chungbin And uh, just look, so pretty. So I pulled Changbin and then I was like, you know what? I kind of want to get like, I kind of want to get all of them. So my first focus was this and I completed it about a year ago um, in February. I actually saw the tweet recently where I just talked about completing it. And a little while later, because this was so satisfying. I would just sit here and just like look at this page and just move it around like this. Um, it was so, so satisfying. Oop, this is kind of crooked. That it actually got me to start collecting in general. So I started with, with Levanter. And Levanter, I completed not too long ago. I find it's like, you know, it's definitely easiest to collect for the album that just came out. So it came with these little things that are supposed to go around your, you'll notice too that every little thing that comes in an album, I will take out and put in my binder. Um, not everybody does that. I think that's, I don't really know if that's like just a unique thing to me or what, but these are supposed to go like around your albums. So like they fit around like the three Miro, three, cause there's three of each. So the three versions um, of each of them these are supposed to fit around, but I didn't do that. I <laughs> just put them in here. Then some stickers that said random stuff in my binder. These are um, Oath Generation, Oath Gen Fanship or Fan Club. Um, then we get into the Unlock Tour. Polaroids and um, this is uh, OP2 Polaroids and then OP3 then also randomly have some Chan and Hyunjin then this is um, Fanship Stay in London which I'm finally completing with Chan. I actually got really lucky with this because I um, <clears throat> I bought two copies of Stay in London initially and it came with um, three photo cards in it per like copy. So I got actually like everybody except for uh, Chan and Changbin. What, there's something in here? Is that like an eyelash? My eyelash? Oh, yes. And it was not inside the sleeve. That's what I was really worried about. Whew. But it was my eyelash. How? How? How is this happening? 
Okay. And then on the second page here, I have um, the Polaroids. I have Felix on the way, but this is also something I'm kind of taking my time with. I'm not super like pressed about it. I was more focused on getting all of these <clears throat> than these. All right, so now here's like a random mishmash of stuff because, and that's where these guys are gonna go. Um, I, yeah, yeah, I don't know. These are Taiwan and then these are like random Polaroids. This is actually given to me for my birthday and it's really cute and I love it. Um, this was the first one I ever got, which I got and I bought like some, first time I ever bought Stray Kids merch was like some pouch thing and this was inside and I was like, huh, what, it, well, oh, okay. <laughs> I, didn't have, I didn't even know where to put it. I didn't have a binder. I didn't have anything. At the time I was keeping my photo cards like in my albums still, like I didn't know what to do with it. So here's some more um, Taiwan and then uh, these sticker things that side and then this is the um the tin case uh po postcards so they have photos spanning from like all the eras so like this would be like i am not era and then i am who and then the ones in the library like i'm you And that's it. And that is the reason why my binder is so um, thick and heavy. It's because of the postcards. But I actually am thinking about like putting all of the um, photo cards in front and putting all the postcards together in front instead of having them all by era. I'm not sure. That's something for later. All right, so there's that. There's the front of my um, binder the side this is from when it was in a much smaller um from when it was in a much smaller binder and i just moved it and then the back so that's that one now moving on to the second one all right so here's my second binder this is my new binder the one that i just started um not too long ago and i sort of did a video for that so I haven't really decorated this one. This is actually um, from the online concert, some like a free pin printable that you could get from Tubasco Crew. They do like banners and stuff for concerts, usually in person concerts, but they did this one as a, like a free printable that you could do, so I printed it out. And I was waving it in the air like, you know, I was at a real concert. All right. So, starting this one. First off the bat, um, we have the Japan High Stay Polaroids. Then some um, random stuff. So this is from High Stay. This is actually from District and Unlock in Seoul. It says on the back. Yep. Um, so this binder is definitely more of a mess than the other one. I wouldn't say it's a mess mess, but it's not as together as I would like. So um, here's our the top uh, flyer. And then I already put the all-in flyer in here because I didn't know what to do with it. In the meantime, if I was gonna like film putting it in here. Um, this is also kind of random, just assorted things. Um, this is a broadcast photo from Miro this is the Christmas card from Levanter and I wanted this so badly it would oh, I'm so happy that I find, that I got this it and I actually got it in December so like just in time for Christmas and he's so cute and it's really the cutest thing I've ever seen and it makes me so happy um so yeah this is actually from in life and this is from Go Live. So there's something from every, like just a bunch of different places on this page. This is just, I put them where they had a spot. Um, <laughs> this is the little jacket thing that was on the side of the um, Skid 2020. Uh, like the jewel case, I kept it. I don't know why, 
and it's in my binder now. And then the same thing for top. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So then we have our um, Skids 2020, Stray Kids 2020, whatever you want to call it. I have all of the regular photo cards. And then I have um, this Chanlix, which I actually, I pulled this in one of my albums. And of course I got a group card. And then I pulled, I actually bought this on Mercari. Um, so now we have top here. And actually, let me go ahead and get out my stuff because I have stuff to put away. And I might have to add some pages in this binder. Yeah, because I have these two for top. I traded with someone for this and I bought this one. And, hmm. Okay, hold up. Okay. So, hmm. Let me just put this here. And then I'm going to take these out. These can all go together. Right? And then I'll put, so they're in order. He goes here. He goes here. And some of these are still sealed in the back. So for the ones I pulled, I don't take them out of here. And actually the person I traded with didn't either. So that's really nice. That's my preference. Okay, so now I can see exactly who else I need for these. Okay, so there's that page. Now my new page, it's just going to be Hanjin here. And actually this is the one I pulled with my cassette. Oh, hold up. Okay, that was um, really scary. <laughs> I just like smacked a bunch of photo cards onto the floor. Fortunately, they're in sleeves, but um, oh my God. Okay, so he's just going to chill right here. Why not? And then I have three of these. Um, you know what? They can be little placeholders for now. I don't know. I'm just sticking them in. Okay. So there's that. All right. So then these and then my sticker my kuji sticker from uh what even was this merch for i don't know unlock japan let's say and then our i have go live special cards which i don't think i have anything i don't think i have anything to add to this Okay, so go live is just what it is. <laughs> I love this photo. I love this photo so much. So yeah, I've added the black back to everything just because I like the way it looks. Someone actually in my last video commented and told me about these half sleeves right here. So I went and got some and they work perfectly for the standees. So thank you so much for that because it was a lifesaver. This really helped out my binder so much. Then we have film strips and the photo cards. Okay, so now we're getting into end life. These are Aladdin. I, Aladdin has really great pre-order benefits for stray kids. Like they're, these prints are so good. Um, okay. Whoops. Oh, also the online fan meeting is tomorrow. Well, it's like Saturday, but like for me, it's going to be like Friday night. Well, technically Saturday morning, but Friday night at like 1am. So tomorrow. 
um, from when I'm filming this. So here are his, um, oh, do I have another, I have to add more to this. My Changbin special page. Oh, <laughs> there we go. I did it again. Woo, that's great. I'll toss that over there. This one, this one, that one is different. They look the same, but they're different. A cheek poke makes a world of difference. And then I zoom in. And this one. Is this one? Do I already have this one too? Um, some Changbin might have to go on this on the second page. Oh! There we go. Look at that. Oh, this is just embarrassing. Okay. So zoom in, you can go here. Nothing is in order on this page. So now I have these. <laughs> um, I guess, I mean, I have no choice but to add another page. <sighs> okay. Yep. I mean, I just have to. I can't get around it. I could maybe kind of like split them up. So that this one doesn't just have two. Maybe I'll do that. So some of these can just like, like this one, this one, this one. This one. Actually, I'm gonna leave this one. Yeah, so like the merch, <laughs> I just bought merch um, not too long ago. We all just bought merch not too long ago for the, what was that merch for? Oh, for the online concert. So we bought merch for the online concert. Now we're buying merch for the online fan meeting. Not to mention that um, Skizu just came out not too long ago, but now there's Skizu merch for the online fan meeting. Um, so I really, I had to set a budget for that because I went kind of crazy with the last merch, the online concert merch. So I'm not getting as much this time around. Um, and the merch is, in my opinion, cuter this time around. So I'm like kind of upset about it. But also like her too recently, like last night, that there's going to be a Stray Kids comeback uh, somewhere between April and June. So I really got to stop messing around. I got to like you know save some money and, and get it together all right that doesn't look too bad it looks intentional all right so that page and then uh we get into the mini books the frame cards <laughs> oh yeah that's right i was like why do i have this that's right. This actually, I intention. I knew that I bought a duplicate um, because I said in another video that like I had traded for this one and for the Felix frame card, um, but that trade got lost in the mail, and then like two months later or something, I I'd actually already replaced both of them. It was Singman and that one together, and then. Um, like two months later it arrived and it was postmarked um, on the date that, you know, they sent it, which was two months earlier. It just took forever to get to me. So now I have duplicates of, oops, of those. And I somehow have a duplicate of this. What, the, the stack of duplicates is just really sad. It's oh, embarrassing. All right, but go live is complete. I mean, in life is complete. Stay in playground, still not complete. Um, it's, it's all, it's, it's, oh my goodness. I just love these photo cards so much. They're so pretty. Okay. So these. And then we have our, these are the Tower Records pre-order cards for 
Lord, has my cat just like been in my binders? What is going on? <laughs> okay. So here are all the, these are the photo cards that I pulled. I was originally gonna trade these for Changmin, but I decided that I wanted to keep them. So I actually do have all of his photo cards now. And this I need to just take out. I don't know what else what I was doing. And then I did this. But I can't put it in the side load sleeve. So um, he'll just go in one of these for now. Should I put a little gap? Yeah, put a little gap. Then we'll put chunk of it. Actually, no, I'm just going to stick it in here for now. Like that. I'll come back, put a sleeve on it later. Um, because these are longer, I actually use side load sleeves on my photo cards. That's just my own personal preference. But because these are so long, um, I actually can't use side load sleeves on them. All right, look at him, oh my God. All right, that's extra. Okay, so now we've reached the end and I need to add a few pages. So I'm gonna add some of these, oops, <laughs> what am I doing? But yeah, someone also asked me in one of the comments to do a video on like how to get started with Stray Kids collecting. And I'm not an expert by any means, but I definitely think that's a really good idea. So I'm going to start working on that um, and trying to figure out how I can do it without showing my face. I have an idea and I want to see if it works out. But um, yeah, so we're going to start with the the Go Live and Go Live in Life. Yeah, the online concert photo card. So we have a Polaroid set and a lenticular set. So I have that. And then we also have the, um, these sticker things, backstage pass sticker things. So I haven't, I actually haven't put sleeves on these at all yet either. Ooh. So here are the side load sleeves that I use. It's, I prefer these for everything pretty much just because um, one of the things I noticed when I, because at first I didn't put sleeves on my photo cards, but when I did start putting sleeves on them, um, they would always want to like slide out or like, like if I had it so that I put it in from the top and then put it in here, it would slide out of the sleeve. <laughs> Or if I put it in from the bottom and just like put it in so the opening's down here, sometimes like when I put it in, they would kind of like come out the bottom a little bit. And I just didn't like that. So side load sleeves fixed that problem for me completely. I'm gonna take a few of these out. And then this is just what I do before I put them in my binder. A lot, like it's so interesting um, collecting right now because it's for stray kids specifically because um, they're at a time where they're just becoming like really, really popular. There are a lot of new stays and it's really wonderful. And it's amazing. But what's happening right now too with like stray kids photo cards and stuff is that like the prices are insane sometimes like they're it's kind of like a roller coaster like they're kind of all over the place sometimes some like you can find some really really good cheap prices and then sometimes like stuff will be like just ridiculous so um it definitely is um it is an intimidating time to start street kids collecting i am glad that I kind of like started collecting when I did just because it, I think it was like easier to find stuff and there wasn't as much competition necessarily for all the old stuff there was still of course but there wasn't um, as much as there is now okay I love lenticular photo cards is really what I've learned also from collecting so there's that the next 
we have we're gonna do the we'll do the Polaroids. I might run out of, no, I won't run out of sleeves, but I might, I need to buy some more. I need to stop just buying a hundred at a time. So I like to think, they're like, oh, I don't buy that many. It's fine. That's really not the case at all. And also what I do like about using side load sleeves, at least in, for trading and like selling and stuff, is that when I put it in the top loader, I don't have, a lot of times people will put washi tape on the top um, of a top loader to keep the card in there, like as it's traveling or whatever. But with a side load sleeve, you don't even have to worry about that because you put it in a top loader, the side is inside and that's the only opening. And then, you know, they'll take it out and it's, it's not gonna go anywhere. So, you know, there are several reasons why I really like side load sleeves. This photo shoot was so good. The photo book was so nice. They look amazing. Also love too that like, I definitely got like a very like school kind of theme, but it was, it was older, you know, it's like before they were very like, okay, we're in, we're in high school and like, you know, whatever. But this is like, you know, college boys on campus, um, hanging out. And I like that, you know, I like that they're, everything is is just becoming more mature as they get older. Like, especially cause I mean, they're, they're all adults. They're all adults and not only are they all adults, but they have all now graduated from high school. So none of them are in school. Anymore. Well, I think some of them, I think some of them are in school. I think Kendra's in school or was in school at one point. I don't know, I can't keep track of it. I don't know how, I don't know what it's like to be an idol, obviously, but I just feel like you would be, it, it, it's very, it seems very time consuming. And I don't know how you, and school is also very time consuming. I don't know how you'd be able to do both of those. I would definitely take a very disciplined person. So also I'm gonna put like a link to everything that I'm using, all the sleeves, all everything that I've mentioned and everything that you've seen, even things I haven't mentioned. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna list them all um, in the description so that you can find them. All this stuff is on Amazon, like all of it. Cause that's where I got all of it. There are a lot of these, three per member, It's a lot. But yeah, um, some people don't sleeve their photo cards before they put them in their binder. I do mainly because I don't trust myself with anything. I will just, I break everything like as you saw earlier I smacked some photo cards onto the floor um and they were perfectly fine because they were in sleeves I'm a big fan of sleeves okay Hi, I love this just 24 print I don't know how I ended up with two of them I think I kind of like thought about trying to trade for, um, you know, but I just didn't. So now he's chilling in my binder. I'll probably end up giving it away at some point. I do have a couple things that I'm keeping for various giveaways. Um, I do plan on doing a, just like a thank you giveaway once I reach um, a thousand 
subscribers because honestly like this YouTube channel has been really great like I've met a lot of people I've talked to a lot of people and like I've got to talk about you know stray kids a lot um, I, and I love them I love talking about them which I've said before like it's just really one of my favorite things so this has been like really fun for me and it's like really exciting and honestly never thought that anybody would ever watch any of these and it's not like you know there are like a million people watching it but honestly to even see that like like a hundred people watch it even like 50 people watched it like it's a it's incredible to me because my own friends and family they don't even watch my youtube videos <laughs> also because they don't really care that much about straight kids that that's really why so this has just been really exciting for me and just like a really amazing way for me to like meet people who also love straight kids is meet other stays it's really been awesome how many times i'm gonna say awesome all right so <clears throat> after this i have the stickers do i want to put them yeah i'll put them behind these So I actually keep my um, extra sleeves and stuff. I'll show you. I actually keep my extra sleeves and stuff in a in its own binder. So this is kind of like what it looks like, and I have everything organized. So I'm gonna get. I think I'm just gonna use one of these. So I'm gonna put them front and back. It's a sticker, so um, there's not gonna be anything in the back on the back. Just take it off, close it up. And I have like every, hopefully every kind of sleeve that I might need, like. Um, including like the big ones and these old cheap ones that I don't really know what to do with those. So yeah, I saw someone do this once and I thought it was interesting. So I tried it. And I like it. It's a good way to keep it, um, keep it organized. Okay. These are like weird stickers. They're kind of like, I don't know, soft and fabric-y feeling. They're like... I don't know how to describe it. So for me, I do collect, um, all eight members for album inclusions but anytime I can get a set of something like I don't usually join you know sometimes people do like group orders and you can just like claim a member or two um out of a set I usually don't do that because if there's an opportunity for me to um oh there's a of course there's a group photo that complicates my life Um, if there's an opportunity to get all eight members, like, easily, especially if it's in a set, then I'm, that's what I'm going to do. So, what am I going to do with this, though? You know what? For now, at this point, I think they're going to go between Changbin and I. I'm just going to hide them for now until I figure, what out, figure out what I want to do. Okay, so next we're getting into more current, like the most current stuff. So I have Seasons Greetings, and then I have the um, Go Lab in Life um, online concert Polaroids, the Polaroids, the merch Polaroids. So I'm going to start with this one, and he's just going to go here. I... So in my unboxing of the season's greetings, I actually said I'm not going to collect these, but I am actually collecting them. I have one, I have two more on the way currently, and then one 
I'm gonna try to trade for. We'll see, we'll see what happens. So these are going on a page by themselves for now. Because I will eventually have all five of them. Yay. And I should hopefully get it soon. Also, I do want to film these more often so they're not so long. So instead of like holding all my stuff for a month and then filming one of these, I want to try to do it at least like every other week. Um, because I do realize that whenever I do a collection video, it is crazy long. Like crazy long. So if you've made it this far, <laughs> thank you. Uh, first. And second, you're amazing. Because, <laughs> I mean, yeah, you're amazing. So thank you. All right, so next I'm gonna add a couple more pages. Okay, so I don't even think I have these in order by the person. So one, two, three. So there's this binder card and then do I have two of these of course I do of course I do so let's do this then okay Okay, we'll do that for Changbin's page. I think I do have the other one coming. Yeah, because I was supposed to trade for this one. Yes. Okay. And that's the... Wait. Because there's two where he's holding the camera. Okay, yes, that's exactly the same. It's the other one where he's holding the camera. Next page, we will do these. I am collecting um, all five of, of Mino and Chan, uh, Chan set. So, because they currently fit on a page, I'm gonna just put them together. But it is kind of awkward, like, when you have, um, oh, these are the original sleeves that I came in. When you have five, five of each member, because there's only nine pockets on this, on a page. All right, so that's it. I actually need to go grab some more of these. I don't have any more right beside me. I'll just stick one in for now. But yeah, so that's it. I have put it all away, and now... This binder specifically is um, significantly more, um, it's, it's much thicker. So I got a lot of good stuff put away today and I'm really excited. Also, the merch that just came out, I pre-ordered some last night. It went on sale last night at 1 a.m. for me. And I pre-ordered it and well, I'm doing a second order, but um, I pre-ordered it and that also comes with more Polaroids. So, you know, everything comes with Polaroids. There's always constantly new stuff coming out. Um, Stray Kids is just, like, they're keeping us busy. Collectors, like, you know, Kingdom is coming out. They're keeping us busy with that, you know, cause we're gonna have to vote and, you know, make sure that we're doing everything we can to make sure they win, which they will, they will win. Um, I know this for a fact already and I'm really excited about it. Um, and then they're gonna be super popular everywhere and everyone's gonna love them and it's gonna be amazing and they're gonna live happily ever after. So that's it. And that's where I'm gonna end this. Um, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.